Hey guys, welcome. What I'm going to do today is I have a uh, body armor plate that was sent to me by a company called Shot Stop. That's shotstop.com. And if it is uh, what they say it is, it's going to be pretty exciting stuff. Um, what they're telling me is that the plate I've got right here, it's Deridium. Deridium 3 Plus GT body armor plates. And what's good about this is it's level 3 plus. So they're calling it green brown tip. So it's a special threat plate. Uh, special, th special threat testing, 556 by 45, 62 grain ball, 762 by 39, 762 by 51, 149 grain, M80, it goes on, 62 grain steel core, NATO M855, SS109, M855A1. Material type alloy composite, which is this new technology which is they're calling Deridium. And this plate weighs 4.8 pounds. So it's a, um, just looking at it right here. So here's the plate. Um, it's a 10 by 12. And this stuff's made in Idaho, guys. Uh, it's American made. And it's threat level 3 plus. M855 SS109, M855A1. So here's the plate right here. Um, and you can see looking at it, it's really thin. Now, the, the, the type of plates that I have right now are also level 3 special threat plates, which I wanted. Uh, and I was looking for them for a long time because the, the issue I found was that you can get um, light um, plates um, and they tend to be around sort of 2.2-ish pounds, very light plates. And the, the word for it's gone out of my brain, of course it has. Um, but the material they're made of, Dyneema. And of course, it, you know, I'm going to forget that. And what I didn't like about those plates that I've seen from other companies is that they don't stop green tip. And green tip is a very common round. So I waited for the type of plates that I've currently got in my, in my plate carrier, which are um, they're, they're Dyneema ceramic composite. And they weigh about 4.6 pounds, but they're about twice as thick as this. Um, and they're also special threat plates. But what we've got here is this new material, Deridium, and what these guys are telling me is they've currently got uh, a level four plate that they're looking to uh, save a lot, of, a lot of weight on, and that may be coming down, a level four plate might be coming down to the kind of weight uh, of this level three special threat plate. So this is a really good thing. Um, and it's actually gonna be quite unfortunate because I'm gonna shoot this uh, with green tip. So the idea is I'm gonna actually shoot this plate with green tip and see how it goes. Um, so it's going to be a torture test, and those things can be a little bit ridiculous. Here's the here's the back of the plate here. So the, these torture tests can be a little bit ridiculous. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and give it realistic scenarios, and, and ultimately I'm going to put a lot of rounds in it, and at some point it's going to fail, especially if I keep hitting it in the same place. Um, you've got to be realistic with a body armor plate because. Yes, we definitely want this to stop to stop the special threat that it claims to stop and be all that it is. Um, you're not going to stand there and just take rounds forever. The idea is that it's an insurance policy. Let's say you get stitched up across the front and the idea of the plate is it's going to stop rounds going into the vital organs. It's not going to stop rounds going everywhere else, okay? But the idea is that hopefully if you do get hit, it gives you a chance, a greater chance of survival. We're not going to be like, you know, chests to the enemy you know, how many rounds can we dodge? So let's be realistic about this and, and see what kind of threat rounds it can stop in a kind of, you know, a, a, an engagement where you might have a patrol engagement, get a couple of rounds up the front. You may go into a room, take a couple of rounds. Is this going to stop green tip? Is it going to stop it at 25 yards? Is it going to stop it as I get closer and closer to the target and eventually, you know, torture test it? So I've got a camera. I'm going to have a camera here. I'm going to have a camera down there. Um, Billy is uh, obviously, unfortunately, my test subject for this, so he's going to, hopefully, you know, I'll be upset if the rounds go through. So we'll see if he survives. All right, I'll go set this up. Thank you very much. Give it two rounds at 25 yards, see what it does.
ground have not penetrated. You can see they made some holes in the in the front there. Or else I thought it was going to look pretty bad when I got down here. And there's deformation on the back plate, but there's nothing come through. Okay, I'm just going to hit it with uh, two rounds of varying distances and just go down and check it each time. Okay, looks the same on the front. Three and four shots. We've got some pretty significant delamination. Nothing's coming through. So we've taken four rounds so far. All right, that was two rounds at about 10 yards, pretty close. Kind of a controlled pair. And we've got a round. We've got a round through here. So this one's come through. I'm not sure with what force, but we've basically got, so we've taken one, two, three, four, five, six, pretty close. And that's kind of obviously messed up ceramic here. And finally that six round has gone through. Yeah, it's definitely gone through because it's gone out the other side of Billy. Billy, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to shoot you again. Okay, that was the torture test. That was the rest of that magazine. And as you can see, the rounds have gone through. So, this does stop green tip. It stopped five green tip rounds at relatively close range. Started off at 25, came down to 15, came down to 10. So that's close range. It stopped five of them before there was significant uh, uh, delamination on the, on the plate here. And the sixth round went through. Okay, guys, that was a torture test. Okay, so as I said to the other camera, um, what we had was, so I fired between I fired, uh, I believe, 24 rounds in total because I, I, I checked zeroed with, because uh, I didn't want to miss, you know. So I checked zeroed with, a, with about six rounds from that magazine. And then I went on to the torture test with this. So 24 rounds um, between 25 yards, 15 yards, 10 yards. And then I hammered it, you know, I hammered it. Um, so, oh, and as you can see, I, I didn't really help the plate out much because all the rounds are kind of in this small area. So there's a whole bunch of plate that's actually still still got its integrity um, but in the center no so what actually happened here was it took it took six green tip to penetrate at close range so I was down to about 10 yards when the six one went went through okay so it stopped five green tip between 25 and 10 yards and the six one at 10 yards went through um, and obviously uh, because you know you can see you see in the video where the uh, stuff was coming out um, and you can see where the rounds have come through on the back. So like I said, you've got to be realistic about this. This, this plate does, does stop green tip. It stops five green tip right in the center of the plate. If you haven't taken cover by then, you need to come do some tactical training. All right, so keep an eye on these guys. This company is Shot Stop. It's shotstop.com. They make this stuff in, 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 uh, in Ohio, okay? And so that's 4.8 pounds right now. If they've got a level four plate that's coming down, even, even, even towards this kind of weight, 
then that's excellent because you want you want light plates. You want to wear plates. You saw what Billy took down there, okay? If you can wear plates, wear plates. Thanks very much.